Yeah. Well, uh, I see that uh, you are enjoying with the practical uh, part about the uh, let's uh, switch uh, to the bit, uh, to see a bit of the theory and then after uh, from uh, midday we can uh, continue uh, with uh, with exercises. Uh, well, as uh, some of uh, you already know, well, my name is uh, Juan, and now we, I'll uh, explain the collective uh, communications. Uh, we have seen until uh, now that point-to-point uh, -point communications. That means that uh, we, ha we have uh, two processes. Uh, one process uh, sends the message, and the other process uh, receives the message. Here, uh, this kind of uh, communications uh, can involve uh, more than two uh, processes. Uh, these uh, this, uh, operations uh, should be called by our uh, processes inside the uh, communicator. If uh, we use MPI com uh, word, uh, our processes that uh, are on, that are executing on the cluster uh, will be involved in that uh, communication. But uh, also we can define uh, another communicator with a subset of the processes. Um, uh, so, we can we have uh, some examples. Uh, we can have a uh, barrier synchronization, broadcast, uh, a reduce uh, function. We will uh, see in detail uh, each of uh, these uh, functions. The characteristics, what I men uh, already mentioned, that uh, is over a communicator and uh, all processes inside that, that communicator are uh, involved or should be should uh, call to this uh, uh, collective uh, communication operation. Uh, in MPI, in the version 2 of MPI, the, this, uh, this uh, operation is uh, blocking. But uh, in uh, MPI, in the version 3, is uh, introduced uh, a non-blocking uh, version that uh, could be useful for some cases. In this, uh, in in that kind of uh, communication, we don't need a tag, and uh, we should uh, be careful about uh, the buffer, the receive buffer that uh, should be on the right uh, size. Otherwise, uh, we can have uh, some uh, problems with the the memory. Well, to start, uh, we have uh, the barrier synchronization. That uh, you see the to call the SMPI barrier, uh, we are, the parameter is only the communicator. Uh, what uh, that this is for uh, the synchronization of all processes. One, once that all processes uh, reach this uh, barrier, the program continues. So yeah, that's the user for uh, syn synchronized. Uh, for example, well, one example could be if you want to write a, you are calculating a matrix and you want to write the matrix into a file. Uh, you here, here uh, above, above the that uh, function, you uh, generate the matrix and calculate the the matrix elements and so on. You reach the barrier and to uh, make sure that the whole matrix is calculated, and after that you can uh, write the matrix into a file or show the matrix and the matrix, etc. Another uh, operation that we have is uh, MPI broadcast. That's easy. So we have a process, and this process uh, sends uh, send, uh, a number uh, to all, a number of other data to the other uh, processes. This could be useful, for example, if uh, when you read a file and uh, you get uh, some uh, data in order to uh, initialize uh, the data in all these in all the processes uh, involved in the communicator you send the the value of uh, that data and the parameters is the yeah the buffer where we uh, have the, the, the data uh, how many elements of the of the, the this uh, type also, the root root is the process that uh, send the, <coughs> the data and the where well, the communicator that is uh, this this buffer if it, which we are the root process is where the data is uh, stored 
and if uh, we are not uh, root uh, process, is uh, where the data is uh, saved. Another uh, function that we have is a uh, scatter. That is, uh, for example, we have uh, here in this process, we have uh, five values, A, B, C, D, E. And I want to send uh, the A value to the first process, the uh, B value to the second process, and so on. Uh, if I perform uh, an MPI scatter, uh, I get this, uh, this uh, results. Uh, I have five values, I have five processes, so I sent to each process its uh, corresponding value. Well, here we have the syntax. We have uh, the set buffer, the number of elements that we set, the type, and for the receiving buffer, the same well, buffer, the count, and the, at the type. We specify the root of process that if uh, we see here, the root should be the number one. And uh, also, the, we should accept the communicator. For the MPI gather, it's the other way around. We have in each uh, process an um, element, and I want to uh, gather all, uh, all the that elements in uh, one process, in process uh, process uh, one. So, yeah, I performed that operation and I got a vector of uh, these uh, five uh, values. And the syntax is uh, the same as uh, MPI scatter. We have uh, the same buff with the count and the same type, the, the receiving uh, buffer with the countdown at the time, uh, the process that uh, gather all the elements, and the communicator. Well, here we have another kind of uh, operation that is, uh, is called a reduction. reduction. It's, uh, for example, if uh, we want to get the the sum of uh, these uh, five elements, or for example, we want to get uh, in, a global, in, a, in a global optimization problem, we want to get the minimum value of uh, these uh, five uh, uh, processes. One way that we can do is that uh, we can do the gather, and once that we have all of these uh, five elements, uh, find the minimum of these five. But uh, instead of uh, doing that, uh, we can do an MPI reduce, and at the same time that uh, we are collecting the, the elements, I mean, we collect the, only the minimum. We don't collect uh, all of these. Uh, so, for example, using MPI reduce uh, would be more uh, efficient. How do you know which elements you are collecting from and gather, and how do you know which elements you are scattering to? Because that's not true to me. The, this is a uh, defined, uh, the, we have here the send buffer and the receiver buffer. So what is in the send In the, mm, for example, the, for uh, these uh, processes, a uh, send buffer should point to here. Okay, so it should contain the, um, the rank of the process that you're sending to? No, the no the the I mean, you know, uh, what uh, the let's see if I can, uh, the sending buffer is uh, pointing to here, right? I uh, just said that the uh, just uh, is a uh, one uh, you specify one element of a type of uh, integer flow, etc. I mean the receiving buffer that uh, should be specified by the receiving process, you set the pointer to here. And that, that's uh, what I mentioned before. Uh, you should allocate, if you have five processes, you should allocate uh, five uh, elements. If not, you get a memory uh, uh, error. I don't know if it uh, makes sense or... What is the... How you can repeat the link between 
thing that you call V? Is that the rank number? In what we've had? No, this is a this is a, an element, a value. Any piece of data. It's a this is not the, the number, it's a value, it could be a five, seven, etc. Okay, I still don't get it, but continue. Okay. Well, I can't, um, I can't, I don't know if you maybe for the, for, for that one is uh, uh, more clear? No. Okay, for example, uh, here for the, we have the uh, send buffer, is uh, pointing to here, mm -hmm. right? Yes, in process B. Yeah, in process. Yeah, in process B. In process B. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I think that's. that's yeah, I think that's the. Yeah, that's the. The confusion I think is also coming from the fact that these processes have names, and then you have a buffer with these same names. Yeah, the thing is, uh, the definition is uh, dif to have like a is different in the for the API scatter in the in in that process. The parameters are different than the for the other processes. Maybe it's the the scatter here yeah, again is not the same buffer that is the A B C D and the same for each process. Yeah. But when you are gathering and you are putting the same buffer, something that you are grabbing. So you will send data that are already there and you will get to take them. So no matter for example that uh, that that process uh, sent no, but in the gathering. I know. Together. Yeah. You are going there. What you are doing in send buffer is something that you don't send because you are already in the process there. A, B, C, D, E. Yeah, the send buffer points to here. To yeah, that. So it's a little bit confusing because you are doing something which is sent where you are already there. Ah, well. Yeah, yeah, that, that's true. That's true. Uh, you should do that in order to keep the um, let's see the logic or the um, yeah that's true that is uh, already here and the uh, maybe it's, instead of sending it's only copy the data to uh, I don't know how it's internally implemented but it's uh, like uh, to keep a bit the logic of the but yeah the thing is uh, the send buffer point to here and sends to to the <laughs> Yeah, in that case, uh, yes. If it goes to a scatter and then a gather, we don't necessarily get the uh, back of the same one that they started it. Yes. Good. So the, the order you get the back in from the gather is corresponds to the Yeah. Corresponds yeah. exactly to the okay. Yeah, that's the yeah. Thanks. So but I continue if uh, it's not clear, I can uh, yeah. yeah, that first is a bit uh, confusing. Well, a sample of uh, reduction operations. So we have, uh, well, we can uh, the sum, the product, or we can get uh, what I mean before, maximum or minimum. Or also we can define an operation for this, uh, for these uh, operations. These uh, functions. Well, the predefined operation that we have is uh, means maximum, minimum. They also we have a, a logical or with twice uh, the and the or the classic or, and also we can get the maximum or minimum and the location of our. And what is the syntax of uh, this uh, function? We have the send buffer, that is uh, the element that, that we want to uh, that uh, be involved in the reduction operation. The receive buffer, that is uh, where the calculation will be stored. The count of uh, because uh, here we can use only one, we can use one element or several elements. Data type, uh, the operation that uh, we want to perform. The the process where we will save the data that uh, we have uh, calculated on the communicator. We will see here a, a, well, a graphical example first. For example, we have uh, four processes, and the process one is the, the root. Uh, what, uh, and also we have uh, four elements. 
So we apply the mm, um, specified operation to uh, each element. We see here that the element A, E, I, and M are uh, uh, the, the operation is uh, performed and is sent to the root of process. That in, in that case is the process uh, one and so on. Um, once that we finish with these uh, four elements, we have the result of the operation here. We have a vector of uh, four elements, one for each uh, for each uh, position of the ending. Here, for example, the we can see the the code. What we want to do is uh, to sum up the x values and save the result on um, result. Yeah, so we are very original with the name of it. And uh, here we uh, set the the element that uh, we want to uh, sum. Uh, the the well, we want to uh, store the result. This thing here. Uh, how many elements? In that case is uh, only one. It's not a vector. The type of the element that is an integer. We want to sum, so MPI sum. Uh, we want to uh, store in the place on the processor zero, where process is zero, and uh, we will uh, involve more elements. So we will use uh, MPI comma uh, our processes. We will use uh, MPI comma uh, work. Also, what I mentioned before is uh, we can uh, define uh, our own operation. We can we can have uh, two reasons for that. The operation that we want to perform is not on the list of uh, predefined operations. Or, uh, for example, if uh, we use uh, a derived data type, that uh, we will see this uh, this type of uh, data types uh, after lunch. Uh, we should uh, define. Uh, the function in order to uh, perform the operation. What is the syntax? Here we have the incoming uh, vector, the upcoming vector with the perform operations, the length of uh, the, the, the vectors, uh, both vectors uh, will be the same length, and the MPI uh, data type. Uh, well, for Fortran is kind of uh, the same. For example, the value of uh, that operation is uh, for each uh, element of the vector, I save in, in the output element the, yeah, the, I can, uh, that uh, operation of this. Uh, and also the operate the operator that uh, we use is not to the media that is uh, that uh, is a commutative, but uh, the operation should be associative. Once that the operation is uh, created, uh, we should uh, like uh, well, let's say when the operation is uh, defined, we should create the operation using uh, MPI operation uh, create. So we uh, send uh, the function, if it uh, uh, can commute or not, and the, the pointer to uh, this uh, MPI op. Also, uh, we have a variant of uh, MPI reduce. We can have uh, the MPI or reduce. In that case, uh, we don't have a root uh, process. It's uh, all the, the, the solution of the result of the reduction operation. It's uh, saving all uh, processes. The other is uh, a reduce scatter that, uh, yeah, we uh, perform the reduce, and once the, the, the reduce is uh, done, we scatter the results if, uh, in case that uh, we have a several elements. On the MPI scan is uh, what well, we will see later with uh, an example what is uh, doing. That's the, if as you remember before in the previous example, we take the first element and uh, we send it to the rank uh, one, only here. But in that case, uh, we calculate the element 
uh, we send to uh, our processes involved in the uh, operation. And the syntax, syntax is uh, kind of the same. Uh, we have the sender buffer, the receive buffer, the count, uh, data type, uh, the operation that we will perform, and the communicator. For the MPIS count, is uh, we are doing, uh, for example, if uh, we do, uh, we are doing uh, parser operations. For example, here we have a yeah. The, if uh, we take the first element of the vector uh, for the rank zero, we send a to the rank zero. If uh, we go to the rank one, take a a and uh, do the operation with uh, E and send uh, A, for example, let's say a sum, uh, a, a plus E here. If uh, we jump to the rank number two, we we do the, the operation using these three elements and so on. For the last, uh, for the last uh, process, we get uh, I, E, and A. And we have this. Uh, now it uh, makes it uh, clear here in the. It's like a partial uh, operations. Well, here we have also the syntax uh, that, uh, that is uh, kind of uh, the same, uh, same buffer, the same buffer count, uh, data type, uh, the operation that you want to perform, and uh, yeah, always appears the communication. Well, and uh, yeah, it's a uh, in day or uh, noon, and uh, we will. Uh, well, you can continue with the exercise uh, with the previous exercise, uh, but uh, you can also, if you have uh, finished, we can continue with the exercise uh, five. That uh, the idea is uh, to rewrite the work. Well, one that you have done the exercise at all, rewrite that exercise uh, using a. Uh, a uh, global reduction to perform the global sums, and also you can uh, rewrite again in order to complete a partial uh, sum. Well, I didn't ask uh, you before, uh, do you have any questions about uh, this uh, part, about the uh, collective uh, communications? Or if, uh, well, if uh, you have uh, some more questions later, I will be here, so uh, you can ask me and uh, we can. Uh, Okay, so thank you for your attention and enjoy the exercises.